Okay, physics and a coffee filter lab. So uh, this is definitely one that you could do at home. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of supplies, but uh, because it might be tricky to find all the things you need and the weight things uh, and providing this lab for you. So the idea is to measure the drag force. So coffee filters, they get the terminal velocity really quickly. So you drop one coffee filter and it uh, reaches constant velocity really quickly. And we'll try to do a stacking coffee filters. So we're going to see what the how mass affects that, and uh, again, mass is going to be affecting gravity from this. So uh, you should have access to this as a Pivot, Pivot Interactive, which shows the uh, the data that you can use for dropping coffee filters. So and just a quick comment about this. So in the right-hand corner here, you have things that you can use to measure, right? So look, a, a ruler, so you can measure how fast, how far something has fallen, and look, a, uh, a, a timer, so you can also see how long something has fallen. So with these two measurement devices, you should be able to um, figure out <laughs> the things that are being asked of you and uh, get data from the video. So that's the idea behind this. Um, again, uh, if you're feeling uh, ambitious, uh, you could certainly do this on your own. Uh, it does require you to figure out the mass of coffee filters, um, and there are some creative ways to do that. Think of balances, and uh, also the internet has some useful information as well. So uh, anyway, I hope this is helpful, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.